you also uh you mentioned before about Rey Mysterio being a massive uh influence on you again another mm. one of the little guys I guess to, to put it mm. that way um what was it like you know again being being able to meet these people that you've looked up to for such a long time and and you know being able to see what what he's been able to achieve especially like bringing his family in and other stuff like that to making it more about um you know that supportive storyline of people's of family standing up for for um family so yeah what yeah. what are your thoughts on that um i love ray he's by far like you know people always say like don't meet your heroes but i would meet ray a million times because mm. he is just everything that you can want in a hero like he's just someone that you know he looks out for everybody he makes sure that uh people who like especially with andrade like he didn't have to do a lot of the things that he did because he's a veteran you know like he yeah. didn't have to give so much of himself in those matches that he did um but I think also because I had known Ray, God, when did I? I want to meet. Uh, maybe 2014 is when I met him initially, or 2013, something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, this was also because of a mutual friend. Um, but this one I knew, knew him. So uh, when by the time he actually introduced us, I was still like so starstruck. I was like, "Wow, that's Ray Mysterio!" And oh my God, <laughs> I loved you for so long, and you're here, and now it's uh. But <laughs> he was he was always really cool, you know, like he he wanted everybody to be taken care of. And I think that was such a big thing because even back then he was trying to get me hired, you know, mm. like he was just like, he's like, I don't know. What do you think about coming in a mask and being like with me and, and stuff? I was like, that would be just everything I could have possibly wanted in life. <laughs> but, that would have been um, a dream. Even, oh, I know. Even, even me and my six foot three non-athletic uh, <laughs> build. I, I, yeah. Even I'd have put on a mask and been like, yeah, I'll, I'll hang out with Ray. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah he's great and then like you learn so much from him too like i um i, I used to do the 619 before um going to wwe so but yeah. only because he I, I was a big like a really big into asking the person if you could use their move mm. because it's a dedication to them um is paying homage to them but you're not taking their move yeah and but when i got to WWE, i was like i don't feel comfortable doing your move like i just i just don't and even when i knew i was heading there i was like i just don't know what to do because i love this move and then we came up with it instead of smacking the front of their face um they're actually there you have their back to you and you swing around and you grab them kind of like in a in a vice grip almost and you mm. choke them over the bottom uh, you know so it was like you're still doing a little bit of Ray, but you're turning it into such a shitty little thing to do to somebody <laughs> because you know that the referee can only count up to five. So you have yeah. up until four to hold it, you know? So it's like those little things. And um, I think the, the biggest moment with him and I was when, oh my God, even just thinking about this, I was like, I, I can't believe you did this. But um, there was a ladder match that they had. And I knew at one point, and, and this, I remember the day going so fast and all of a sudden it was like we were first on the show <laughs> and the, mat, the match is happening. And before I knew it, I'm like, what? I was supposed to climb that thing? Like they told me to climb it and sit on it. That's all I had to do mm. is go up there and sit on it until Andrade pulled Ray off of the ladder. That's yeah. all I knew. But by the time I got up there, I remember as I'm climbing, I'm like, what do I do again? What? How do I get down? How do I know when to get down? <laughs> so i'm sitting there and then ray looks up and he sees me and it's that moment of like i'm going i'm going oh god not her so <laughs> i hear him under his mask go slap me and i was like what and he's like slap me do it <laughs> and i was like are you sure he's like do it and he's like so like just freaking do it so i slapped him and and there's still a video of me doing it and <laughs> I remember like when they zoomed in to like hear what I was yelling at him. Yeah. I think luckily they cut the camera at the point that they did because first I'm like, I don't know what I said. I was like, what now, Ray? What are you going to do, Ray? Why would you tell me to slap you, Ray? <laughs> but they didn't catch that part. <laughs> so um, <laughs> then Andrade pulls him down, whatever. And then I also realized, oh, Thea, you're in heels. Okay. Oh, gosh. So to, yeah. So to hop off, um, I was like, just, hey, leave a faith. If you freaking bust your ass, that's it. You do it, mm. whatever. So, and there's like, a, it was like a, uh, 
when they landed, it sent the ring to kind of bounce a little yeah, bit. Yeah. So before I could even get onto the floor, I bounced off and I just like landed and I was like, oh my God. And then I, I didn't know where to go then. So I crawled into the, like the corner turnbuckle and I just sat there in shock. <laughs> There was nothing else I could have done. I just sat there in shock and I should have left the ring, but I didn't. I just sat there and I was just like, you could see all these weird faces of me like in horror. Like, oh my God, you know, but mm -hmm. it's, it was real because I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know what to do, but that was like probably the coolest day ever because after when we got to the bank, um, everybody's like, oh my God, Ray and Andrade. Yay. That was so great. And everyone's clapping. And I just go straight for Ray and I grabbed his face. I was like, are you okay? He's like, yeah. He's like, why didn't you slap me quicker? And I was just like, <laughs> well, I mean, it built up the anticipation. Yes. But at the same time, why didn't you tell me to do that sooner? And then his son, Dominic told me that is because he didn't want me to overthink it. So he decided to tell me in that moment, not why? before we got out there. I was like, <laughs> why? But yeah, that, that was cool. Ray, Ray's amazing. Mm. Nothing but, you know, good memories with. Are him. there ever moments like in in that position? Obviously, you didn't know what what you were gonna do, and you were like, "I just need to take the leap of faith." Are there ever those moments where you're like, "Man, if I just moonsault off this ladder right now, I'm in the his <laughs> I'm in the history books." You know, like you're like, are there are there those moments of like defiance where your four foot eleven and a half self goes, <laughs> "This would be epic," but then you have to restrain yeah. yourself and. Yeah, yeah, there has been. Uh, for Money in the Bank, there was. Um, but it was also, like, the thing is, with the kind of moves that I do, too, that person has to be ready for it. Yeah. So it's like you can't really put them in jeopardy, but at the same time, it's like whoever it was that we were working with always said, okay, now let's get Selena to do something. Like, they always, no matter if it was Drew or Ray or mm -hmm. Alistair, even, like, everybody just – you know, made sure that there was always a spot for me in there. And if they didn't yeah. think about it, Andrade would be the one to reinforce it and go, well, let's do this for her and let's do this and make it like a big thing, you know? And um, it just made a lot of sense too. Like I remember one time too, like I wasn't supposed to cut a promo at Madison Square Garden for the title between Ray and, uh, and Andrade. Mm -hmm. And when we got out, I'm saying nothing. I know my spot. I'm just saying quiet. I'm yeah. just supposed to stand there, whatever. As soon as we get in there, I see Ray and he goes, cut a promo. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, Ray, you're going to get me in trouble. And he's like, just do it. He's, he's like, they're not letting you talk anyway. Just do it. And I was like, are you sure? He's like, you can put the heat on me. So I was like, all right, cool. So <laughs> that's when I, I grabbed it. And, and it was in my hometown too. So it was like, they didn't even, they didn't even let me talk because mm. they just, they hated me so much at that point. It was just like, they didn't, they didn't want to hear one word out of my mouth. So it, it, built up the anticipation for their match even more. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes you just got to trust the veterans like that, you know?